What do you do when Trump waves a 35-year-old missile as a threat to Putin? You get an answer no one expected. A weapon that promises to fly forever, slip under every shield and change the rules of nuclear deterrence. Russia has just tested the world's first nuclear-powered cruise missile, a weapon with unlimited range, capable of evading every known missile defense system, including America's most advanced Golden Dome. They call it Burevesnik, or in NATO's language, Skyfall. It's not just another missile, it's a statement, a threat and possibly the most dangerous psychological move Russia has ever made. So what exactly is this Skyfall missile, how does it work and why has it sent shockwaves across the world? Welcome back to TFI Global. Let's break it down. Just days before this announcement, Donald Trump threatened Putin with the Tomahawk missile. Trump said he was prepared to arm Ukraine with tomahawks to push Russia towards peace talks. But Putin doesn't bow to pressure. Instead, he responded with something straight out of a science fiction. A nuclear-powered cruise missile that can circle the Earth for days, dodge radar and strike anywhere without a warning. Experts call it ironic. Trump brandished a 35-year-old missile and Putin replied with a 35 years ahead of its time weapon. As one analyst put it, Trump showed Putin a museum piece, Putin showed the world the apocalypse. Standing before Russian troops in camouflage, Putin made the announcement himself. He declared that Russia had successfully tested the Bjorvesnik missile, completing a 15-hour flight covering 14,000 kilometers. That's nearly the distance from Moscow to Los Angeles and back. He said, quote, The test was successful. This is a weapon no one else possesses. It can bypass any defense shield anywhere on Earth. For the first time, Putin publicly claimed the missile had entered the deployment phase, meaning Russia could soon field it as part of an active nuclear deterrent. And just like that, the global arms race entered a new chapter. Here's why Bjorvesnik is unlike anything before it. Conventional cruise missiles like the Tomahawk or Russia's own caliber run on chemical fuel. Once their fuel burns out, they're done, limited to a few thousand kilometers. Burevesnik throws that rule book out of the window. Instead of a chemical propellant, it's powered by a miniaturized nuclear reactor, believed to produce up to 20 megawatts of thermal power. This reactor heats air in a ramjet machine, creating sustained thrust, theoretically giving it unlimited range. It could fly for weeks, circle the globe multiple times and strike when commanded all while hugging the terrain at low altitude, invisible to radar. Imagine a missile that can wait in the sky, silently circling until its operators decide to unleash it. That's why it's terrifying. Now, let's talk about why the Bjorvesnik is being called the missile that broke defense. Systems like THAAD, Iron Dome and even America's new Golden Dome project are built to intercept predictable targets fast-moving ballistic or hypersonic missiles that follow known trajectories. But Bjorvesnik doesn't play by these rules. It flies low, weaving through mountains and forests. It can change course mid-flight, hide from satellites and approach targets from unexpected directions, even from behind enemy lines. Its ability to loiter for days means it could wait until defenses are relaxed, then strike. In short, the West can see it coming but not know when it will strike. And that uncertainty itself is the weapon. For decades, scientists said this was impossible. A nuclear reactor small enough to fit into a missile? Too risky, too hot, too radioactive. But Russian engineers, particularly from NPO Noveta and Sarov's Nuclear Research Institute, claim to have cracked the code. The Burevesnik reportedly uses a solid booster to get airborne, then switches to its nuclear engine mid-flight. Once the reactor activates, it can theoretically fly indefinitely, limited only by component wear or mission time. But there's a catch. Experts warn that such a missile could emit radiation while flying, contaminating everything in its path. Western analysts have already nicknamed it the Flying Chernobyl. For years, developments stalled around secrecy and safety fears. But in 2024, satellite images showed renewed activity in northern test ranges. And this year, Putin claims they have finally succeeded. Whether the missile is fully operational or still in testing, that's a guess. But Russia's message is they've made the impossible possible. 
Meanwhile, Trump's Golden Dome project is meant to be America's ultimate protection. But Björn Vesnik has turned that into a question mark. If a missile can fly under or around every radar and loiter until the perfect moment, then no shield, no matter how golden, can guarantee safety. It's not just a new weapon, it's a new doctrine. Deterrence through endurance. And it plays perfectly into Putin's psychological warfare strategy. Because even if it's never fired, the fear of it existing is enough to paralyze strategy sessions in every NATO capital. Skeptics say this could be more theater than technology. Maybe it's still unreliable, dangerous or only partly functional. But others argue that even a half-successful skyfall changes everything. Because the message isn't about missile, it's about capability, confidence and chaos. Putin has once again demonstrated that when the West builds defense, Russia builds fear. And fear in the nuclear age is the most potent weapon of all. So, what happens next? Will the US race to build its own nuclear-powered cruise missile? Will arms control treaties collapse for good? Or will this weapon remain a shadow, circling unseen, a symbol of human ambition? One thing is certain, the nuclear chessboard just changed forever. Putin's skyfall isn't just a missile, it's a wheeled message saying, we can reach you anytime, anywhere and you'll never see it coming. Thanks for watching.